Welcome to Elevator Pitch, a segment of Growth Club that gives entrepreneurs the opportunity to stress test their pitch deck for investor readiness and get feedback from our audience. Today, we'll be speaking with Omodara, who runs a tech-enabled food subscription business. My name is Usman, and I am your Growth Club. What is the name of your business? Pocket Food. Describe your business in one sentence. Pocket Food is a weekly and monthly food subscription platform for busy professionals and corporate businesses. How did you come up with the name? The idea is to create a food delivery platform that is so affordable and convenient it can fit right into your pockets. All your week's food and delivery in your pocket, that is pocket food. What problem are you solving? The food space in the corporate industry is either too expensive or too rigid. Imagine having only questionable book of food and expensive restaurants as your only lunch option as well, especially when you are too busy to make your own meals yourself. Pocket food is here to make that all go away. How do you solve this problem? We are broadening the options for people who are too busy to make their own meals themselves. The model is a full subscription where the users pick their meals for the week, which is then processed and delivered right to their doorstep at the specified time every day. How does pocket food work? Walk us through briefly. We are automating lunch time for millions of Africans who find it hard to find convenient, affordable and healthy lunch options wherever they are. The users download the app, then they pick the subscription plan, which currently ranges between 8k and 10k per week. Once this is picked, the food is then processed and delivered to them at the specified time every day. We connect ghost kitchens operated by uh, chefs to users who are looking to find healthy, great meals every day. How long have you been in business? We've been in business since August 2022. What stage are you in? Seed, startup or growth stage? I would say somewhere between startup and growth. Describe your ideal customer. Our customers are those who are tired of eating boring old lunch at work, those who are too busy to make their own meals, um, businesses that want to cater for their staffs but do not want to incur any operational or logistical costs. Basically, anyone who wants to eat um, convenient and affordable meals every day without tearing their pockets. How do you reach your customers? Basically, through referrals. 80% of our customers today found us through word of mouth and the rest found us through social media. How many active customers or subscriptions do you have today? We have um, 150 subscribers as of today. How do you make money? We make money through commissions and kitchen rent space from our ghost kitchens. Have you raised any money in the past? If yes, how much? If no, how has it been funded? Yes, we've raised money. We've raised $2,000 through friends and family investments and are currently crowdfunding with Africa. What has traction been like in the last three years? Basically, we started less than a year ago, but it has been great. It has been great. We've hit the mark of 250,000 orders delivered uh, by April. That's the beginning of April. We've had 150 subscribers. Um, we've also earned up to forty thousand in revenue, forty thousand dollars in revenue. What is the craziest thing you did because of this business? The craziest thing I did because of this business was I quit my job. I didn't know if the idea was going to work. I had no idea if what I was doing was okay. But immediately the idea came to me. I quit my job. And all I had was an MVP I created on my phone. And that MVP is still being used to today. The MVP has been the one generating our money. So yeah, this that's, I think that's been the craziest thing, you know, jumping into the unknown and um, winging it. <laughs> what is your worst experience on this business? That would be the logistic um, arm of the business. One of our logistical, logistic partners disappointed me at the time I needed them the most. And because of this, I almost lost a few customers. It was terrible, just terrible. But I would say it's a, it's a blessing in disguise because this experience pushed me to um, to start Pocket Food's own um, delivery field. So yes, we started purchasing our own delivery um, bikes. This was a blessing in disguise. This fact has been an horrible experience. What is your biggest win so far on this business? My biggest win 
we'll be getting noticed and approached by reputable people in the tech industry. I am big on networks. I am big on human relationship. So yeah, this this is definitely my biggest win so far. What is the greatest vision limiting challenge you have? Hmm, I actually don't really see any challenge that a great team cannot face. So building that team, building that great team is um, the only challenge I see right now. How much funding do you need to solve this challenge? Well, we are currently raising a $500,000 um, per seed. That should cost our acquisitions of, um, of great talents, you know, or acquisition of um, our fleet. A lot and a lot of things that we have planned for this fleet. What do you do for CSR? Pocketful recently launched a Going Green campaign where we are utilizing the three hours, which is reduce, recycle, and um, reuse. So we want to reduce our plastic use by at least 80% and also with our carbon footprint. Um, more more on this on this last part will be announced um, soon. So yeah, that's basically our CSR. So we're trying to create a sustainability um, operations that also works um, for climate change by reducing our plastics and also reducing our carbon footprint. So that is all we can take on this segment. If you would love to ask questions or you have comments for or Madara, please feel free to immerse yourself in the comment section. And if you enjoyed this content, please subscribe, like, and share with your contacts. And we will meet in the next one. I'm Usman, and this is Growth Blog. Start, grow, scale.